we got our basic RPN calculator working and we wrote some simple tests to verify that it was doing what we wanted, uh, now we'd like to add some features and then integrate it into our drawing program. So the main feature that I want to add is the ability to handle variables. It might also be nice to add some functions beyond the four basic addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. So how would we do variables? Well, this actually pulls in some material from our previous chapter. The best way to do this is probably with a map. This is a map that the key is a string, the name of the variable, and it can be whatever string you want and it provides a double and that double uh, will be the value stored in the variable. We can make our old tests compile just by adding an extra null here. These shouldn't refer to that map at all so the null is probably safe. It might actually be even safer to just say map parentheses. I think I like that better. Okay, so we pass in a map here of strings double, and we now have to add an extra case. So this case here, this was the anything that wasn't one of our operators. Well, um, we should also deal with the possibility that this isn't a number. It's going to be a variable. And the way I'm going to do that is first I'm going to try to treat it like a number. So I'm actually going to use our try block here, and then I'm going to catch a case for a number format exception. How about I call it NFE, number format exception. So if this works, if the two double was successful, clearly this was a number. But if it's not, we're going to assume that it's a variable from the map, and we are going to push onto our stack the value stored in that map with that name. Okay? Uh, it turns out that this could also have an error where the variable didn't exist. Uh, right now, that would throw an exception. Um, it's not clear exactly how we w want to deal with that. We could put another nest another try inside of here and maybe add a zero if that were the case. But for now, we'll just leave this as it is. It's reasonably uh, good behavior. We can add tests for this. So how about we add a test called with bars and val bars is a map of x goes to 3 and y goes to 2. And one of the advantages of doing that is every place that there's a 2 I can replace with a y and every place there's a 3 I can replace with an x. And if I do that all of these tests should evaluate to the exact same thing they had been before. Oop, but we got a red bar in our unit testing. So with bars failed, no such element, key, key not found, why? Oh, that's a fairly easy one. One of the things to note, a lot of times you have to make certain that your tests are actually valid. This is not a flaw in our Uh, and to make this happy, we're going to add some pointos there. Okay, this is not a flaw in our in our RPN calculator. This is a flaw in how we've written our tests. And there we go, we green bar. So now this has the ability to handle variables. I said it might be nice to uh, handle some other functions. So for example, maybe we want to handle sign. It's good to see how this would work. Well, sign only takes one argument. So we are going to push onto our stack the result of taking the sign of popping off the stack. Okay. Whereas 
plus, minus, multiply, and divide had to pop two things because they take two arguments. Sine only takes one argument, so it pops that one thing, takes the sine of it, and pushes the result right back onto the stack. And we can do this for a few more functions. We could take, for example, the cosine, the tangent, a square root, cos, tan, square root. Okay, I'm fairly happy with this. This is now a reasonably functional calculator. I brought in our drawing code from what we had written in the previous playlist, and I want to take this RPN calculator and I want to add it to our commands. So we had an add and echo and refresh, which are all fairly basic commands. I would like to add some additional commands into here. Um, the commands that I would like to add, I'm actually going to add two of them. One is a command called RPN. And you can probably guess what that's going to do. That is our RPN calculator. And so it is supposed to call RPN calc. And we'll need to, oops, except I missed the R. There we go. We'll need to import that so it brings in the stack Q utility RPN calc. And we have to pass it our two arguments. The first of which was a sequence of strings, and the second one was our variables. So the sequence of strings that we're going to do here, we need to uh, split apart all the uh, arguments. So we can take args, trim it to make sure it doesn't have any leading or trailing spaces, split that on spaces. That gives us an array, which is will work for our sequence here. And then I also need to have some type of variables. Now what I'd like to do here is I would like to make it so that all of our drawings have variables associated with them. So inside of our drawing here, we're going to add a private var of underscore vars, which is a map of string to double. It doesn't have anything in it to start with. And then we'll add def vars equals underscore vars so that outside code can get hold of it, including this here. And now that's, that's happy. Um, I am missing, apparently, a close parentheses. There we go. Okay. The other uh, command I'd like to add is the ability to add variables to this. So we will have a, a command called set. And what I want set to do is I want set to have the ability so they can type in something like set x to 3 and this will take the uh, x value and make it equal to 3 in the drawings map. So I'm going to need the ability here to have a set var which takes the var name as a string and its value is a double, doesn't return anything, and it's just going to set underscore vars equal to vars plus our tuple of var name and value. Nope. And I'll put an underscore here, though it would work either way because it refers to the same thing. So this allows us to add a variable in. All we have to do is we have to break args up into those pieces and then pass those two arguments in. So we can say val parts 
equals args dot trim dot split on spaces and then d dot set var of parts sub zero and parts sub one dot two double. And it might be nice to give back something because this is just going to return unit. So how about we say parts sub zero plus an equal sign parts sub one. So the user gets back that feedback. Okay, we should check to see if this works. I'm going to run our drawing main. And I now should be able to type in RPN of 2, 3, plus. Oh, we got a not valid command. RPN on the stat queue drawing main. Commands. Once again, make sure I haven't messed up anything else. Echo's fine. RPN worked. I'm not exactly certain. I think I might have accidentally run the wrong executable there. Uh, and we should be able to set X to 3 and then do RPN of 2X plus and get 5. So there we go. We have a, a little calculator that's built into our command area in case we wish to calculate anything, and it has the ability to use variables. That is a functionality we'll wind up using later so that we can do things like animation by adjusting variables.